Six months ago, meta objects were announced during the winter volume of Shopify Editions. These meta objects allowed us to now create our own objects in Shopify. About two months ago, I covered how to work with these new meta objects on this channel. So if you need to get up to speed with meta objects, check out that one. But in this video, we are going to be discussing a new feature regarding meta objects that has just been released in the Shopify summer 2023 edition called meta object pages. As you might guess from the name, this exciting new feature allows us to create a template for displaying any meta object we set up in our store in a similar way to how we do it for products, collections, regular pages, etc. So in this short video, let's run through how it works. All right, guys, so in my previous video on meta objects, I was inside Chris testing shop three with test data, which is where I'm going to start today's video. And what I'm gonna do is use an existing meta object that I created in my previous video on meta objects. I created in that video something called a creator. And the idea behind the creator meta object was that we could link certain products to certain people who made the product, right? So this creator object is what I'm gonna use in this video. If you need to take a step back and look at meta objects in general, definitely check out my previous video on that. Because I've already covered meta objects in a previous video, I'm only going to look at turning these into pages in this video. So if you want to learn more about meta objects and how to create them, check out that previous video. But just to refresh your memory here or show you if you're new here, if I click into any of these creators, they have three fields. They have photo of the creator, name, bio, actually, sorry, there's four here, photo, name, bio, and the list of products that this creator created, okay? So this is the meta object definition, and I put these famous people in as creators. All right, so with that out of the way, let's now dive into our online store sales channel, and we'll head into the theme editor for this current theme that I'm running, which is the 11th version of Dawn, which is the current version. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna hit customize. And up here is where I can select a template. I'm going to create a new template for my meta object. So I'm gonna go up here. And as you can see, we've got creator down here. Oh, um, before we go any further, I just wanna make clear that I'm pretty sure that we need to, if we go into the definition for the meta object, this feature will need to be enabled, web pages. So if I click on this, you'll see all related theme templates will be deactivated and associated pages will be unpublished. So if for whatever reason you have this unchecked, this is not going to work, okay? And here is also where we can find the names of these fields in the code if we ever get lost or forget. Um, also down here, when we create the meta object or enable meta object pages on a meta object, we'll be able to specify where the page title, the description, and the handle is going to be. So for us, it makes sense that creator, the name of the actual object definition is in the URL. So you can see here an example URL of how it's gonna look like. And then it obviously makes sense to have the name of the creator as the page title and the bio of the creator as the meta description. This will usually come up, I believe, if I go back to where we were before, into our customizer. And if I follow through with what I was going to do before, which is click on creator and then click on create template, usually it will ask you to define your SEO data there or what data you want to use for SEO. Um, but because I've already done this process before, it's already saved on the meta object definition. So now we have a blank template to create our creator template. We can reach this page this way, how I described, or if we go back into the meta object definition, I'll try going this way because that's a bit slow. Go into custom data, go down to meta objects, go into creator, scroll down and you can see here, there was a button here before for add, but we've already added it now. So you can reach the same place either through the meta object definition or through your theme editor, just so you know. So this will take us to the same place. 
There you go. All right, but back to here. Now what we can do is start to add sections to our template. Now to start with, for you coders out there, I'll show you how to actually reference the meta object that we're currently looking at. In this example, we're looking at Kanye West's page. So if I go here to add a new section, I'm gonna go and add some custom liquid. I'll do this instead of creating a whole new section. I think this is just easier. And what I'll do is I will first show the title of the creator. And the way we can grab the data from the currently selected meta object is by using the meta object liquid object. So it's not going to be creator if you're creating a creator. It's not going to be author or designer. It's always going to be meta object no matter what the name of the meta object definition is. And here the field is called name. So here you can see just by calling name on the meta object liquid object, I get the name of the creator. Now down here, I will grab the image. So the image, let's go back into our definition just so we can reference the exact names of these fields. So I'll go back over here go into custom data, go down to our creator meta field definition. And here you can see creator.name, that's what we used before. Creator.photo is the field for the image. So I'm going to, instead of creator, reference the meta object liquid object, as I mentioned before. If we just output the meta object, you can see we get a meta object drop. Drop meaning that we are definitely looking at an object. And then what I'll do is I'll put photo here. And then just to keep things really simple, I'll just filter it through this simple filter called meta field tag. Okay, now we're getting the photo that's stored in our meta object of Kanye West coming through. The other field, I mean, we can put in, let's just put in bio here as well. I'll go in here, meta object and the name of the field was just simply bio. So I can go, whoops, bio. Let's have a look now, that should show up. There we go. And then let's add in that list of products. So for product in meta object, again, always referencing the meta object liquid object. Same thing we would do if we were looking at the product liquid object in a product page would reference the product that we're currently looking at. In the same way, the meta object liquid object references the meta object that we're currently looking at. And I had the list of products stored in creator of, and because this is not a text value, it's one of the weird quirks of meta fields and also fields within meta objects, means I'm gonna to have to chain a dot value at the end. We covered that in the meta objects and meta field videos on this channel. So I'll do my closing end loop. Then I'll put, let's just say creator of starter unordered list and the unordered list. And then for each product in our list, I'll just output the title of that product. Uh, so here we go, product dot title. All right, scroll down and you can see that we've got that data coming across as well. We can see that Kanye West is the creator of the collection Snowboard Hydrogen and the collection Snowboard Liquid. We can, of course, put in a link here and therefore if you click one of these, it goes to that actual product page. But I think you get my point here. This is all dynamic data. And if I hit save on this, this template is going to work on every creator. So. Let's open up this Kanye West page. This link will first take me to the page in the admin where I'm usually able to click view, but it's not letting me. So I can just copy the URL here, open a new tab, paste that in. And here you can see Kanye West. We've got his name, we've got his image, we've got his bio and the products that he created. We can go in here and remember we had a Michael Jordan creator in our list of entries. So we can type in Michael Jordan into the URL and now we get his name, his image, his bio and the products that he's created. So that's 
really cool. We've got dynamic data the same way we would as if we were viewing different product pages or different collection pages. Okay, so obviously this doesn't look the best. I've just thrown together some liquid wrapped together with a bit of HTML on the fly. But what we can do, which is really cool, is use existing sections and use dynamic data linking. So I'll show you what I mean by that right now. So I'll just click this to hide this so that we still have that content, but it's not showing up on the page. And then I can add in sections from our theme. So I'm running Dawn 11 at the moment. And what would be nice is image with text. So I'm going to click on this image with text. And if I click into the section, you can see here I can select an image or I can click on this to connect a dynamic source. And if I click on this, it will find from the creator a suggested field that makes sense to go in here. So obviously this is an image field. It's going to look on the creator meta object for an image field. So here it is the photo. So I can click that and suddenly I've got our photo of Kanye West inserted in that slot. Now, if I go back to the blocks, here is a block for the title. And instead of image with text, let's go up here, connect a dynamic source. And what makes sense here is to put the name. So it didn't get rid of the text before it. So I'll just have to remove that. But now you can see the name is pulling through as a dynamic value. And then if I go down here, I can link the bio. And again, it didn't replace the content. So I'll just have to get rid of that. And now you can see we're getting the photo, the name of the creator and their bio right here. And this is an existing section. So it's all mobile responsive. I'm going to get rid of the button here um, because it doesn't make sense to have a button. And in order for us to show the products that Kanye West has created, I'm going to click add section and have a look at the sections here. I think the one that makes the most sense here is featured collection. But if I add that featured collection right here and I look for the collection field, if I click dynamic source, it's not going to give me any options here. It says no compatible fields because technically I'm not linking to any collections. Product list and collection are two different types in Shopify. So unfortunately, I can't throw in a product list type here in this field. But that's all right. What I'm going to do is just duplicate this section and then update it to fit our needs. So this shouldn't take too long. Let me go. Um, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab over here. Let me head into the Dawn 11 theme code. Here you can see I've already got featured collection dot liquid up. So I'm going to press command A to select all command C to copy. Then I'm going to create a new section. I'll call it creator product list. And then I will select all and paste so that it has the exact same content as featured collection dot liquid. Now we can't have two sections, the same name. So I'm, I'm going to change the name inside the presets to create a product list and then scroll up to the name of the section right here and go creator product list. And virtually everything can stay the same here except for the part where it's looping through the collection. So here you can see when we set the collection, we're looping through its products and outputting each product here. So instead of doing this, I'll just replace this with meta object, which will reference the current meta object that we're looking at. Then I'm going to take the field creator of. And as I showed you before, because it is not a text value, we're going to need to put dot value on the end. All right, now hit save on that. That should be enough to get it to work. And then I'll head back to here, the theme editor. Oh, oops, I got to save first. Uh oh, I did not save before and now I've lost my progress. So I'll just have to recreate it now, which won't take too long. I'll hide the custom liquid, put in image with text. And this is a great example of how quickly you can just load this up. All right, so get rid of that name 
get rid of the bio, bio, and get rid of the button. So yeah, that took like less than a minute to do. Anyway, so now we are going to add that section that we created. So I'll hit add section, scroll down to create a product list. And already we are getting the products that this creator created. The only thing I want to change here is the title. So instead of featured collection, I will type creator of. Yep, that all looks good. I'll hit save on that. We can have a look at how it looks on desktop or on mobile because we're using existing sections within Dawn. It's gonna look pretty nice. And then again, if I look at the page on the front end, grab the URL here, copy and paste. You'll see now that we get our meta object page. And if we go into a different creator, we're going to get the exact same structure, just like if we were looking at different products on the same template, looking at different creators on the same creator template, we get the same layout. It's just these dynamic values that get changed out. Really cool. Like I'm really happy with this feature. It's something that has been done very nice and clean by Shopify. I think a lot of people are going to be happy with this new feature. Final thing I want to show you before uh, we wrap up here, guys, is if we head back to our store on one of these tabs, I've got too many of them open. So if we head back over to here. I just want to show you the location of this newly created template for all you more tech savvy users out there. We'll click on these three dots to go back into edit code. And then if I scroll down on templates, you'll see meta object slash creator dot JSON. So this is obviously the file where we have our created template stored. So here you can see that is that custom liquid that I created. We have these dynamic linkings of the meta object name value. So this is really cool. And the different sections that exist on this template, exactly the same as if we look at a page template right here, or if we look at a product template, it's probably got more in it. It's the exact same concept, exact same thing. Uh, it's utilizing the exact same infrastructure. So very clean solution. If we want to modify this at any point or migrate this to another site, we can do so by migrating this file. Or if we want to delete the template, we can simply delete this template. All right, so super cool feature, super simple. And it's going to be very powerful for some of you guys out there who need to showcase things like authors, creators, designers on your store. All right, so that's all for today's video. If you'd like to learn more about Shopify development, check out the resources in the description below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next video.